Welcome to Concept Guru. Well, learning is fun. In today's session, we will talk about unitary method. Now, Ramesh walks into a shop and he wants to buy some books. He asks the shopkeeper, "What is the cost of books?" The shopkeeper says, "For 12 books, the cost is 72 rupees." But Ramesh wants to buy only 6 books. So what is the cost of 6 books? Hmm, let's try to find it out. So first, we will convert many to one using division. So, we will write like this. Cost of 12 books is 72 rupees. Then we will find out the cost of one book or one unit. Now this is why this process is called the unitary method because we want to find out the value of one unit. In this case, it is one book. So the cost of one book is equal to the total cost of the books divided by the total number of books. So 72 divided by 12 gives us the result as 6. But remember this is the cost of one book. Now we will convert one to many and we will use multiplication for the same. So we already found out the cost of one book. Now we have to find out the cost of six books. So the cost of six books is equal to cost of one book multiplied by the number of books. So 6 rupees multiplied by 6 books gives us 36 rupees good job everyone now let's take another example an aeroplane can fly 1570 kilometers in 2 hours so how much distance will it cover in 5 hours again we will convert many to one using division so the distance flown in 1 hour is total distance flown divided by the total number of hours So 1570 divided by 2. Let me help you a little bit with the calculation. We will write it like this: 1570 divided by 2. So first, we will divide 15 by 2. So we will find out a number which is divisible by 2 that is less than or equal to 15. So 14 is divisible by 2. If you want to have some lessons on divisibility please check out our videos in our channel the links are posted right above so two sevens are 14 and the remainder is 1 so we will bring the 7 from 1570 next to 1 like this then we will divide 17 by 2 the nearest number less than or equal to 17 that is divisible by 2 is 16 right again 17 minus 16 gives us the remainder of 1 and we will put the 0 from 1570 next to 1 so to make it 10 and then we will divide 10 by 2 so we get it as the quotient is 5 So the entire quotient will be 785. So 1570 divided by 2 gives us the result as 785. So the distance flown by the plane in 1 hour is 785 kilometers. Now we have to find out how much distance it covers in 5 hours. So now we will convert 1 to many using multiplication. So the distance flown in 5 hours is 785 multiplied by 5 that gives us the result as 3925 kilometers good job now here are some tips for the parents unitary method is the foundation concept of all advanced calculations like your time and work time and distance the ratio proportion etc so please help the child to clarify the concept encourage the children to do the cost of objects especially whenever you are taking them shopping vegetable 
shopping, fruit shopping provide a great opportunity for us to teach the concept of unitary method to the children. For example, you are buying potatoes. You find out the cost of potato is let's say 25 rupees a kilo and you are going to buy 2 kilos of potatoes. So ask the child to do the calculation using unitary method. Initially give them simple numbers like numbers which ends with 5 or which ends with 0 because that are easy to calculate. Then once the child is familiar with the concept give them larger numbers. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Press the bell icon for our latest videos.